Hi there, this is Mavi Design, and today I will take you through the creation of this short animation. We will be utilizing a 3D camera and a camera tracker to achieve the result. And before we begin, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so that you never miss a new video. Thanks, let's get into it. To start, I filmed this video on my iPhone and then imported it into After Effects. I created a composition for the footage, made sure it is selected and then I went to the Tracker tab and clicked Track Camera. If you cannot see the Tracker tab, simply go to Window and then Tracker. After the program was done analyzing, I right-clicked one of the polygons that best represented the position of the keyboard in 3D space and selected Create Solid and Camera. To create the 3D graphics, I first had to create three compositions and distribute them in 3D space properly. Each one had a ring to see if they align well before I started creating the actual graphics. To achieve the depth of field effect, the background blur, I went to Camera, then Camera Options and Depth of Field, where I played around with Focus Distance and Aperture. This is the phase where I created the lens control mockup. The design had to be simple because it would get blurred by the depth of field anyway. The logic behind the actual focus animation is simple. The rotation of the lens control mockup overlaps with the change in focus distance settings down to a single frame. And of course, the easings are identical.
Sonic Sponsor Bits. I then added the two lines on the sides, did some color correction and the animation was finished. Thank you so much for watching guys. If you enjoyed this walkthrough, subscribe and like this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye!